Hi everybody! Hello! So today we're back with a new video, a new topic. But we're going to talk to you about the top 10 places we feel are the best places to meet characters in Walt Disney World. And we apologize if we should start randomly scratching. We don't have fleas. We just came from outside. Yeah, it's mosquito season in New Jersey. They are ferocious. <laughs> they will literally suck the blood right out of you. So we did this in order of accessibility, um, how easy it is to meet them, how e easy it is, how many characters you meet, things like that. So number 10 is the Character Palooza at Hollywood Studios. Now neither of us have, n have ever done this because we always miss it, um, but a little, nights where they have Phantasmic about 4 to 7 p.m., they bring out some of the rare characters in a random spot in the park None of the regular cast members know it, so you can't even ask them. They just bring them out. They don't even have photo pass, so they really try not to have lines. Um, and they're out there for about 20 minutes. Um, some rare characters like Dopey, um, The Incredibles, Esmeralda, Pocahontas. Some of the ones you really don't get to see in the park. So number nine is holiday parties. One of our favorite holiday parties, only because we've only been to one holiday party, is Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. And we've heard about Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party from other people who have actually said not to go, but go ahead. Um, the reason why I love Mickey's Not So Scary and the characters that come out, this is the only time of year that you get to meet uh, Jack Skellington and Sally. Uh, I love uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. So for me, it really was a very cool experience. We actually met him. And Sally, I apologize. We met both of them uh, when we went uh, during our honeymoon, actually. Yep, we also met all seven dwarfs. That was Amy's favorite. You can meet some of the villains. We really weren't, we were only focused on Jack and Sally and some dwarfs, but we passed a lot of the villains in the park. And also another, yeah, talking about, you know, following them in the park, uh, during the, uh, the parade, during the Halloween uh, time frame, all the villains are actually in the uh, nighttime parade. Yes. At the, so you get to see like Jafar and Yeah, you know. if you just want to see them, you can see them in the parade, but for meet and greets, yeah. it's a good time. Um, the only reason I put this at a number nine for accessibility is because you have to buy the extra tickets. So you're paying for your, um, your park fare for the day and then it's an extra ticket on top of that. And they have limited tickets. So like the Halloween party and the Very Merry Christmas do sell out very quickly we were lucky enough because we were so far in advance we actually got two uh yeah, two I, party passes to get I in there it was like crazy yeah number eight is dinner at be our guest and i specified dinner because dinner is the only time you can meet a character and that would be beast and the reason this is so high on accessibility is because it is impossible to get a reservation um the last trip that we went on in may that you guys saw we tried we for lunch, yeah. we tried very hard. I checked every single day um, for dinner and all I could get was lunch. So definitely do it. We've done it before so it wasn't like we were missing it. But if that's something you have to switch your schedule around for, do it. Now with also that being said, I mean I know other vloggers have also said, you know, it's like a make or break for some people to go to be our guest for dinner. It shouldn't be. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is one of the very few times you actually get to interact with Beast. Belle is not there, but you get to interact very well with Beast. Um, we have gone at least every single time, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, at least once. Uh, we were actually there, I think it was a month after it opened. So when the restaurant actually opened, our, that year we used a travel agent to book. Um, reservations opened on August 20th, which was my birthday, so I was very excited about that. And the restaurant actually opened on November 19th. Um, can't tell you what year. And we actually <laughs> went in January. So it was, it was kind of cool to be there right after. It was awesome. Um, if you get a reservation, go. Don't pass it up. But it's not a make or break. And I will say this, after a few years of it being open, it's still just as popular. And the food there is actually pretty good. I mean, the yes. lunch was okay, as you guys can tell from our other videos. Yeah. But... You know, the dinner, 
was actually, I thought was actually worth the wait, the time, and the money to go. My only complaint about it, not that we're turning this into a review, but the menu is very limited for a Disney restaurant. It is, but I think it's well worth it still. And number seven is World Showcase. So what's cool is throughout World Showcase, there are signs about who you can meet and when you can meet. It's all in one area of the park, and each country has a different character. So Mexico has Sombrero Donald, as I like to call him. Nora has Elsa and Anna. Germany has Snow White. France has Aurora and Belle. Um, England has Alice. America, China has Mulan. Yeah. So it's a really cool place to meet them. Um, you can always tell when they're coming out because the signs make it really accessible. Number six is Princess Fairy Tale Hall. So in the Magic Kingdom, kind of across from uh, Seven Doors Mine Train near the Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, um, there's you can always meet four princesses. There's two queue lines of two princesses each. Um, and what's cool about that is they change out the princesses. Fast passes are really easy, and it's in air conditioning, which is awesome. Number five is Josh's favorite, Talking Mickey. So the reason why I love uh, Talking Mickey is because this is one of the only times in anywhere in Disney World that you can actually meet Mickey and uh, he can actually talk to you and you can talk back to him. Um, it's when you first walk into Magic Kingdom, immediately on your right hand side is the theater. Uh, usually you can meet Mickey there, there's also Tinkerbell that you can meet there, but again like I just said, there's nowhere else in Disney World that you can actually meet Mickey that will talk to you. And it's in air conditioning. She loves that air conditioning. <laughs> it's also really easy to get a fast pass and the line is not too long. Number four is Discovery Island in Animal Kingdom. It is the only place on Walt Disney World property other than holiday parties and special occasions where you can meet Mickey and Minnie together. So they're in um, safari outfits. It's normally not a long line, but you can also get fast passes for it, which makes it really cool. Number three is Pete's Silly Sideshow. So in Magic Kingdom, you can meet um, the Fab Five without Mickey. So you meet Donald, Daisy, Minnie, and Goofy in different outfits as well, so not in their original outfits, um, which makes it fun and different. So Daisy's like a psychic, I'm not sure what everybody else is. I know someone's a magician, um, but that's really cool as well. It's not in air conditioning, but it's in like a well-ventilated and fans are running tent. So that's really awesome and it makes the line go a little faster. Number two is my favorite is Epcot Character Spot. It's really easy to get a fast pass for this um, because it's in the center of the park. Um, so it's nice to do either on your way in or on your way out. Uh, one of my favorite pictures was taken there uh, where Mickey's kissing me. If Josh finds it, he'll insert it. <laughs> uh, but I love this picture. Um, you get to meet four of the main characters. Uh, Mickey, Minnie, I think Pluto, and I think Goofy. I don't think you meet Donald there. Um, <laughs> so I really like it. They're in their original outfit, so it's a great place in air conditioning with an easy fast pass to meet all the characters, um, especially for kids who really want to meet Mickey or really want to meet Minnie. So now we're going to do a, a quick recap of our, uh, let's say 2 through 10, or 10 through 2, whichever way you prefer. Number 10 was uh, Character Palooza. In Hollywood Studios. In Hollywood Studios. Number 9 is the Holiday Parties in Magic Kingdom. We had uh, Mickey's Not So Scary and uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Number eight is the uh, dinner at Be Our Guest in Magic Kingdom. You get to meet Beast there. Uh, number seven is the World Showcase, because you get to meet a lot of characters as you're walking around. Uh, number six is uh, the Princess Fairy Tale Hall in Magic Kingdom. Number five is my favorite, Talking Mickey, in the Theater of Magic Kingdom. Yep. Number Four <laughs> is Discovery Island in uh, Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Number three is Pete. Pete Silly Sideshow. What she said <laughs> in Magic Kingdom. Tongue twister. It's a tongue twister. I apologize. Number two is uh, Epcot Character Spot. Do you want to do number one, Amy? Number one is my all-time favorite. We do it every time, in some capacity or another character dining. Uh, it's worth the money. I know a lot of people, it's a big debate. It's worth the money. You get a decent amount of food. Most of them are buffets. You meet a lot of different characters. 
and it's relaxed. You're not waiting in a line so your kids aren't cranky, they're getting food at least, and you get to spend a lot of time with the characters. So the characters aren't rushing to get to the next person because they're going in a circle. If they're at the next table, that person's going to wait for them. Um, everyone, you normally get to see every character. Sometimes we've met characters twice. Um, and depending on where you go, you get you get a good variety of characters. You get um, Lilo and Stitch, Winnie the Pooh characters, the Fab Five, um, Alice in Wonderland princesses. It's awesome. The reason why I was laughing is because I remember one time we went there. Uh, one of the princesses said hello to us, you know, did her thing. Walked around the entire room and came back to us and forgot that she actually already met us. Yeah, it was a it little was, weird. It was a little weird that like halfway through talking she goes, Oh yeah, I did stop and talk to you guys already. Yeah, it was kind of funny, but it, it it's cute and kids love it. Um, and some character dinings do special things like Akashers do does the princess parade where they parade around um, the restaurant. Chef Mickey's does a dance. Uh, Cinderella's Royal Table gives out toys to the kids, right? And just so you know, some of you adults, you guys can dance. Like the Mickey's, has, um, the uh, Chef Mickey's. the Chef Mickey's adults dance in that also just as much as the kids do. So yeah, it's awesome, and you get you get some of the greatest moments from that. Like I've seen videos of Garden Grill. Uh, Chip and Dale went up to a table together, and the kids had a fidget spinner, and Chip put it on his nose and was spinning it on his nose, and I thought that was awesome. You don't get that at a character meet and greet, uh, just in a line. You get that at character. Well also, well, also because when you're in a meet and greet, it's like you have 30 seconds, and you yeah, have a huge you line, and you have a big, yeah. Where a lot of these dining, you know, experiences, it's... It's only those 20 tables, and that's it. And it's so much easier if you have kids because they're not standing in line screaming. They're eating, drinking, and being quiet. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you, you very for watching much. the video. Please be sure to subscribe and like the video, <laughs> as well as leave a comment um, on what you'd like to see next, and be sure to share. Also, make sure you view the recommended videos in the corner. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.